Hello everyone, Jeff Bauman here, and in this tutorial, I am going to show my EDD 485, 585 students how to become Globe Citizen Science Certified. That's right, you are going to earn your Globe certification in this assignment. And to do so, what you're gonna do is you are going to follow the instructions, obviously, on Canvas, but you're gonna head over to the GLOBE website, globe.gov. And once you get to globe.gov, the very first thing you're gonna have to do is create an account. Now, right now I am logged in with my account. You can kind of see that in the upper right-hand corner here of my screen. But for you to get started, what you need to do is literally go to the Get Started tab, click on that, and you are going to follow a series of steps to set up a teacher account. And um, all you have to do, scroll on down, click right here where it says teachers and educators. So you're gonna click there. And you are going to click on create a Globe teacher account today. So click on that. And once you get to this screen, enter all the required information, first name, last name, email, gender, country, account type, for this, what I'd like you to do is select teacher. Why? Because you're gonna be a teacher and you're gonna need this account for when you start getting science done in your future classroom. So select teacher right there. Um, as of right now, where it says organization name, you can use University of Michigan Dearborn because um, obviously you don't have your job just yet, but um, use U of M Dearborn right here. And then later on down the road, once you get your, your job, you can switch that up, okay? And then after uh, it's all said and done, continue, follow a, follow a series of steps, and then you'll get an email from Globe with all of your account information. Once you get your account information, uh, that is when you'll head up to the, uh, the sign-in button and you'll log yourself in, okay? So now that is how you get your account started. Once you get your account information, log in, and then it's time to get trained, okay? Now the beauty is with Globe, you can do all of your training right here from this awesome website, okay? Back in the day, you used to have to go to an ISD or somewhere else to get trained, not anymore, because when you go over to get trained right here at the top, you go to protocol e-training. And um, protocol e-training is just that. You can get all of your training and certification right here on the internet. So uh, make sure you're logged in. And then once you're logged in, you're gonna to go to this spot and um, there are a series of trainings that you need to complete for this assignment. First one is you are going to do introduction to GLOBE. All right, so you have to know what GLOBE is. GLOBE is awesome. I love working with the GLOBE program. And I hope that someday down the road, you'll be excited to use this in your future classroom. So what you need to do is you have to learn about the globe program so the first thing you're going to do you're going to click on the download module and then a powerpoint is going to come up review that powerpoint okay go through it know it make sure you know all of the key points of that powerpoint and then when you're ready you click on this button to take the assessment test okay with the assessment test, what you're gonna do is you have to complete this short quiz and you have to earn a minimum of 80% to pass, okay? Just 80%. Now, here's the thing. I will not know your score when it's all said and done. You just have to have an 80 to pass, okay? Once you complete um, one of these modules, it will show up over here on the side that it says test completed and it will give you the date. So for me, I completed this training on May 14th of 2016. And that was almost four years ago already. Wow, time flies. Anyways, after you do that, you're gonna start working on your atmosphere training. So again, um, you're gonna go right here to atmosphere and there are a series of modules and quizzes that you have to learn here. So you're gonna do introduction to atmosphere and these are all laid out on Canvas in your instructions because we're gonna get you certified in Globe Atmosphere. So you are going to do uh, intro to atmosphere, download it, know it, take your quiz. After that, you're gonna do clouds 
and right here you have your module and then you have tutorials right here on how to uh, measure clouds so you have your contrail formation tutorial your cloud cover practice and cloud type practice these are really cool and if you want to teach kids about cloud someday you're going to need to know this as well so make sure you learn those for precipitation you can do either rain or snow so right here this is the rain um, module you're going to do aerosols air temperature and this one shows you how to do an automated weather station. We have one where I work at Shoemate Middle School. And I also have one at my house. It's really cool. Um, again, precipitation snow, you have your choice of doing either this one or the rain module. You're going to do relative humidity, barometric pressure, and surface temperature. And surface temperature is really cool because this module has students going outside to measure different surface types using infrared thermometers, IRTs, which are like little laser guns, and the kids love that one, it's really cool. And I probably should mention the cloud one is super cool too, because you can use Globe Observer for that. But anyways, that's for later on down the road when you get the job and you get started. So again, when you complete these, you'll see right here, we'll, we'll give you the date when you complete the test. And you're gonna complete all of these and only one of the precipitation, either rain or snow, okay? And you can see here, not to showboat, but I've completed all of these at the time of the video. And then once you're done with this, what you're gonna do is you need to submit your, um, your training. So in the upper right-hand corner next to your name, there's a little down arrow. You're gonna click on that, and you're gonna go to my account. Once you go to your account, it's gonna take just a second here. Uh, you're gonna to go to where it says globe training. So you click on globe training right here on the right hand side. And then, one second. You are going to right here, go to view, uh, you got training history. So you're gonna click on that. And once you log into this, you are going to go um, to e-training modules. You'll click on that. And this is what you're gonna submit. You're gonna take a screenshot of the um, modules you've completed. I need to see your name in this screenshot. So make sure you get that for me. And once you take that screenshot, you are going to submit that JPEG on Canvas for your submission. So again, um, take a screenshot of your training, and uh, that's how you do it. So after you take, after you learn about Globe, you take your quizzes, you get Globe certified. And another thing that's super cool is when I jump back here, one screen where it says View Training Certificate. You're going to need this training certificate for your um, M Portfolio assignment. So when you click on that, at the bottom you'll get a certificate that has your name on it, endorsed by the GLOBE program, Dr. Tony Murphy, great individual, awesome scientist, and you'll have a little NASA certificate at the bottom. So we'll, we'll get you a GLOBE certificate. And this is a phenomenal thing to have on your resume. It's, it's a really, really cool thing. So this is something that you're gonna wanna make mention of um, on your resume that you are Globe Citizen Science certified. And um, I've, at the time of this video, I've been um, a Globe teacher for about five years. This is a game changer. It is so cool and awesome. And it's something that I hope you you fall in love with and utilize someday down the road when you get your your four walls and your your classroom. It's It's done great things at Shoemate Middle School where I work at during the day. My students love it. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, I love it too. I'm a citizen scientist and I take measurements for Globe. I submit measurements. And the, the coolest part is knowing that my data can be used by NASA scientists and scientists, uh, student scientists from around the world. It is such a really cool and rich thing. So uh, that is what you need to do. And again, we're gonna get you atmosphere trained. So um, just a quick recap, you're gonna to go to get started. You're gonna create an account. Once you have your account, you're gonna log in. You're gonna to go to get trained. You're gonna to go to the protocol e-training and complete 
your introduction to globe module and all of the atmosphere modules except for either precipitation rain or precipitation snow. You only have to do what you get to pick and all of the details are on Canvas. So with that being said, as always, if you have any questions, please send me an email. Um, this is a really great thing to do and get trained in. So I hope you um, enjoy uh, your citizen science training. So with that being said, this was Jeff Bauman, EDD 485-585. It's time to start getting science done. Thank you very much for watching.